Bergogia University, Mr. Guru Bergogia, Honorable Vice Chancellor of Bergogia University, Professor P.C. Bajara, Ms. Aranya Bergogia, Director of Patients, Bergogia University. Now, prayer is the invocation of the heart, a calling forth of divine energies to be manifested in one's life. Time spent in prayer refreshes, renews, and strengthens our positive energy. Now, I would like to invite our chief guests, along with all the dignitaries on the dais, to come forward for the traditional lighting of the land. Thank you. Now I would like to bestow the responsibility of delivering the welcome speech to Dr. Paroma Singh. Good afternoon, everyone. Galgotia University, Great Nevada, is the only private university in Uttar Pradesh to be accredited A class during our recent math assessment. This is the highest rating given to an autonomous institution by UPC. With a vision to be known internationally for creation of knowledge and carrying the mission of supporting analytical and creative thinking, we always encourage collaboration with other universities of eminence. And carrying the tradition forward, I feel proud of the fact that we are in collaboration with Jane Joe Money module for this two-week certificate orientation from FDP program that started on 23rd August, 2022. We feel honored that for this occasion, some very prominent personalities from the field of academics and diplomats from across the world were present to grace this occasion. A special thanks to Dr. Sheetal Sharma, who is the faculty and coordinator for JU Joe Mone Module Center for European Studies, School of International Relations, JU, for all her initiatives in making this collaboration possible. We would also like to welcome our chief guest, His Excellency Manjeev Singh Puri, former ambassador and currently a distinguished fellow at Terry New Delhi. We will start our program with a special lecture by Ambassador Puri on the evolution of EU and the India EU construct. With this, I express with this, I express my heartfelt wishes to the distinguished speaker and guests for joining us for the valedictory session. I also congratulate Dr. Marcy Sinha and her team for initiating and conceptualizing such an academic collaboration. I would request Dr. Apeksha to continue with the session.
at this note, and as a symbol of our gratitude and deference for the time and guidance here, may I now request Dr. Mansi Sinha to facilitate our to felicitate our uh, chief guest, His Excellency Manjeet Singh Puri, former ambassador and distinguished fellow Terry, with a token of appreciation. We have a special guest on the dais, Dr. Sheetal Sharma, Assistant Professor, Center for. It's a shower. <laughs> We have our special guest on the dais, Dr. Sheetal Sharma, Assistant Professor, Center for European Studies, GNU, Coordinator for John Money Module. I extend a warm welcome to you, ma'am. I request. Let us now welcome His Excellency Manjeet Singh Puri to share his valuable insights with us. So may I kindly request you to deliver your views and illuminate us with your experience and knowledge of exuberance. So may we begin? You know, this is only the starting. It was a long time back that I had the opportunity of sitting on that side. Let me tell you, after 40 years in the Indian Foreign Service, I'm kind of looking forward to moving on that side. So let me tell you a little bit about myself. I was born in Beirut, actually, in Uttar Pradesh. So when I was driving here, I was only asking the driver one question. What is the highway of Delhi Beirut? So he said, this is a very big deal. This is how the Gautam Budh Nagar is. So I अब कितना टाइम लगता है ये लुक्ट एट मी एंड सेड अभी भी 2 घंटे ही लगते हैं एंजॉय योर टाइम इसको कहते हैं तरक्की डेवलपमेंट यू नो उस समय क्या एक आध गाड़ी होती थी लोग जरा साइक्लों में करते थे गाजियाबाद तो किसी को पता ही नहीं था क्या था ये मोहन नगर नहीं बना था मोदी नगर एक छोटा सा था तीन चार फैक्ट्रीयां थी बस उतना ही था और अब तो दिल्ली और मेरठ में कोई फर्क नहीं रहा सुना है कि कोई मेट्रो ट्रेन आ रही है अभी डैम आई डोंट नो वेयर ऑल ऑफ यू कम फ्रॉम but are you happy if I speak a bit in Hindi, a bit in English? Because I want to energize you all. And I want to energize you all about a continent about which we in India, we for granted for granted. And we take a little bit of this. I don't know what this is. Do you mind if I take off this jacket? It's damn hot out. You know, this is also part of symbolism. <laughs> 
तो आप सब लोग यू रोल अंडर दैट यू वेरी यंग यू नो हाउ मच ऑफ इंडिया में कभी संकल्प किया कितने सारे पीरो लोग हैं या करोड़ रुपए का बहुत होता ट्रिलियन डॉलर कभी दुनिया का था एक करोड़ इज रफली अबाउट टुडे प्राइस अबाउट व्हाट इज इट into 70 800 billion dollars we are looking at trillion dollar economy and let me give you one facet which should make you understand what europe is and forget for coming on who never on a tv channel i'm talking about this is serious to you who hopefully want to understand politics want to understand economics and possibly be partners of what life in future I see all of you. क्या आप क्यों मारे? अठारह उन्नीस बीस साल इतनी हो गई। तो आप सबके पास कम से कम मेरी उम्र तो आने हैं। With the changing, you know, life expectancy is there. और दुनिया में मैं आपको बताऊँ सबसे बड़ी change जो आपको notice करेंगे जो आपके parents की generation में देखी। अगले साल या शायद इसके एक साल बाद दो लाख चौबीस पच्चीस जनवरी है। दुनिया में भारत सबसे बड़ा देश बन गया अब मैं आपको एक चीज पहले ही कह यहाँ पर हम लोगों की अपेक्षा इसी के बारे में होती है वो मैं और इतने सारे लोग इतने सारे लोग तो मैं भी होने वाले ये जो है ये डिफरेंट होता है इसके बारे में हम लोग कभी भी बात कर सकते हैं आप लोगों को जो इकोनॉमिक पड़ता है very detailed discussion with those individuals on what it means to have more people. Of course, there are issues. Aapko bodi sarkai jayi aapke aur paise nagenge kaun chi na ho ki. Mujhi pe bhi baut dada. Aur jab aap calculate karen to aapka denominator is tarah dada ho jata. Ki aapki pachya pata income hamega niche niche na. You don't feel very good. Lekin, dada do minutes ho chiye ka. Dunia ke perspective se, if you become the world's largest country, what will be the chavi and understanding of India? I am asking this question. See, you know, there is only one and a half hours. I have not told you what to say. So, you are ready, right? You are ready. 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 Twenty twenty four, India becomes the largest country in the world. What do you think will be the world's understanding of India. I'm going to ask two of you from anywhere and then try and say if you, in my opinion, generally not a hand of it. And why I'm saying so is also something I will try and explain. So let me ask any of you who wants to give it a shot. What do you think this one particular thing will do for Bharat ki chali dunya ke? Kya kare? That we are the largest. Largest country. Ah, very nice. Front row. I'm very proud. We are 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 नहीं आपने बिल्कुल ठीक कहा लेकिन अगर हम दो दिन नंबर पे होते हैं तो तभी हमारे मार्केट की फिगर तो होती है ठीक है ना अगर मैं जैसे सैमसंग की तरफ से देख रहा हूँ तो इंडिया का फिगर 1.2 बिलियन पीपल वो तो वहाँ पर रहता है हम नंबर टू लिस्ट में आए हैं नंबर वन पे 
ठीक है ना गुड पॉइंट मेड बाय यू वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर आस दी मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट बट आई एम ट्राइंग टू आस्क पीपल हु आर स्टडी पॉलिटिक्स व्हाट डज इट मीन फॉर परफेक्शन कम ऑन लेट्स आवर ऑन द डेट इज आंसर हाउ टू गाइड दैट और जो इन्होंने कहा और आपने कहा बिल्कुल वही चीज है मैं आपके बीच में आई वांट टू गिव अ थॉट ये जो चीज आप कह रहे हैं कि हमारे पास नंबर है इसलिए हमारी मार्केट बढ़ेगी हमारे जीडीपी बढ़ेगा ये तो चाहे आप नंबर 3 में हो या 4 में हो अगर ये आपके नंबर है तो लोग आपको ये जरूर माने हां पावर इक्वेशन में आपको देखेंगे कि आप आगे बट वी आर नॉट बिकमिंग द वर्ल्ड मोस्ट पावरफुल नेशन दैट वी आर नॉट नॉट Do you know and think about this? आज आप तो कहीं से भी आए हो, दिल्ली से पढ़ के आए हो, छोटे कस्बे से कहीं से पढ़ के आए हो। आपने कौन सी जमात में स्कूल में चाइना का नाम सुना? या थर्ड या फोर्थ क्लास में सुना हो, उससे पहले भी शायद सुना हो। फर्स्ट क्लास लेटर में ज्योग्राफी में टीचर क्या कहता है आपको? कौन कार्डर करनी चाहिए ना हम � इंडिया हम एक चीज आपको मैं उदाहरण दू वाई चाइना परमानेंट मेंबर ऑफ द सिक्योरिटी हम लोग बात करते हैं ना चाइना में डी जूरे पावर डी जूरे की बात तो ये समझते हैं ना लीगल पावर जिसके पास है पैसे तो लड़कों के पास सबसे ज्यादा डी फैक्टो पावर है सब बहुत बड़ी डी जूरे पावर क्यों क्योंकि 1945 में 1945 में व्हेन द यूएन वाज क्रिएटेड द बिग पावर ऑफ द वर्ल्ड Who won the Second World War? United States, Russia, UK, and the French who were their allies. They said, you know, we also have to give a place to the others. And who should we give a place to? The largest among the others, not obvious. Till today, nobody even this stood second in the line. If the door was closed, if we have to go to the other side, if we have to go to the other side, then we have to go to the other side. So we have to go to the other side. That will change. Think about what it does in terms of people recognition, and so the first and most important point I want to give to all of you is: in your lives, the global perception of India will be different than the perception of India in my time. It will not only be that we are powerful, growing economy, and this that. That will also happen. It will also be that yes. We are a country which will be in the top of the recall of it. That makes a great difference in the way people think, leaders think, everybody else. Most important and fundamental. Second thing, जो आप दोनों ने कहा, देखिए, not only are we becoming the largest country in the world, उसके साथ तो झंडा भी बहुत है. हमारी per capita income नहीं आ रही, तो लोग ये कहेंगे, हाँ बहुत बड़ा है लेकिन गरीब है. चाइना को भी यही लोग कहते थे. Lakin, you must recognize the strengths of the other, and this is particularly important as you leave the foreign country. Its career must not be that your mind is not going away. Yeah, yeah, it's not going away. Lakin, you should know. Its the time, its time to buy it. 
अगर आप आप और मैं यहाँ पर ऐसे बैठे हो कलकोटिया यूनिवर्सिटी में भी अगर लेट मी टेल यू लॉट ऑफ टू द टाइम अगर मैं ये इतनी जबरदस्त नहीं टेलीफोन लेके
because in various ways, many of the things that we do sit very well in terms of the India Europe construct. Ideas of what we do, how we do things come from there. We are comfortable to take them forward. Last time I was there delivering one of these lectures arranged by Dr. Sheena Sharma at another university in Delhi. I pointed out to them and I want to thank her very much because she single-handedly has been pioneering the getting across of the European idea and the EU's idea across the young people in India. I mean, tremendous amount of efforts to her. They are, of course, uh, I also want to thank Dr. Mahalati Sena and her entire team, all of you here, for the interest that you have shown. But I want to tell you, I pointed out something very simple to people. Ye cheez aap sab jaane. Aap ne kisne log hai jiske baad two thousand four hundred five thousand aadi wali nahi hai. Nahi, nahi hai. Two thousand five hundred jana wali hai. Jo bhasho na aap jo, to MCR mein to humko bade shuru kar diya na ke Bharat se small hota hai wahan ka hi. Agar usne khana wala to aap bade hote hain. Kabi ye pata kya ke ye Bharat se small nahi hai. These are the exact replication of the European. ये आज की बात नहीं है नॉट ओनली दी मेनी कंट्रीज इन द वर्ल्ड फॉर अमंग दोज इन द वर्ल्ड हु सेट स्टैंडर्ड्स देयर इज द यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स बट नॉट मेनी पीपल फॉलो देयर स्टैंडर्ड्स देयर स्टैंडर्ड्स आर समथिंग ऑफ डिफरेंट वी डोंट नो व्हाट द चाइना इज डूइंग बोथ द अदर पार्ट्स ऑफ द वर्ल्ड फॉलो योर थिंग सो द स्टैंडर्ड सेटर्स द गुड एंड वी विद ऑल आवर बैकग्राउंड एटसेट्रा वेरी कंफर्टेबल टू And today, you know, the story as it goes with the British is that you colonized us. Thank you very much. We are right there. But all these minutes, as you know, he said, he said we should teach the Indian how to speak English. They said that's why one of the presenters is a guy who comes from a colony. Here, what happened? Here, what happened? We will play our manifesto. But the Europeans are what they are today. Six or seven times I have gone. मैं आपको एक और उदाहरण देता हूँ कोविड ये तो आज पहली बार हम लोग बिना मास्क के घूम रहे हैं आपने तो कितने लोग हैं जिन्होंने वैक्सीन नहीं ली नहीं तो मुझे पता तो ये बताइएगा कितने थे आप में से जो भाग रहे थे कि हमें को वैक्सीन नहीं चाहिए ठीक है ना तो ये आप लेडी कह रहे हैं मास्क वो लोग क Because you thought it was a better vaccine, I think it was a bad one. Or if it was okay, so what are the final results? I don't think it's going to be a bad one. Right? Why? Because it is a vaccine. Forget protection. And what is Covishield? It's AstraZeneca vaccine developed in Europe. What is Pfizer? A vaccine developed by BioP in Germany. Bought out by five companies in American company. This is the power of Europe in a declining situation, and therefore, I won't deliver my just more on this. I leave with you the thought that it's a continent with which we should do business, and I'm putting it very bluntly. Rishte are cold, rishte dal banao, but none are good. That's very important. You get that. वो नहीं बनते फाइव हंड्रेड इंडस्ट्रियल धंधे करने के लिए रेडी हाँ तो जो बोलना वो बोल वो अलग एंड रिमेम्बर दिस समथिंग Seeing people eye to eye, and what I am seeing in this classroom is fantastic. Some good guys smiling, some people playing with their cell phones. One guy left on. <laughs> it's the reality of life, I say. I can't be the best juggler going around town. I am not in any. I may think of no end of myself, but that's not the way things are. 
And this is why I had actually requested the organizer that I like this idea of hybrid. I sit in my drawing room or my bedroom and, you know, just wear a shirt at the top and I have no idea about what else. And, you know, it's a very comfortable air-conditioned setting. But no, does it convey things? I don't think so. I think if you all will agree, at the end of it, I don't know what about the hybrid individual. But all of you are going to remember me and what I've said for some time, and some of you may remember this for a little while longer, especially as you grow up and you start dealing with the world, countries, and so on. The European Union is a very interesting construct. I mentioned to you that over 500 years after, you know, even before that, in fact, they were all at war with each other. The greatest names that we know from history are who? Napoleon, Duke of Wellington, Prussian, Bismarck. By Indian standards, I think that's what I'm saying. I think that's what I'm saying. We are the big global languages, English, French, Spanish, Russian, that's also European. The reality is the world was constructed by them. They constructed the world despite being constantly at war with each other. And this business of being at war with each other continued for almost 500 years. In any case, in the last century, they fought two wars, which we all call World War. Now, many people ask the question, what was the World War about World War I? Well, the largest army that participated was the British Indian Army. The Chinese also participated. The Japanese also participated. Chalo, yaar, war happened in Europe. I'm so glad it happened in Europe and not on our territory. Second World War certainly impacted us, even though India perhaps geographically was the one geography which was somewhat safe. But operations were carried out from India. The British Indian Army was again the largest men and material that were provided to fight on behalf of the Allies. The American actions against the Japanese in China took place all from Indian soil with Kolkata as the base. And I don't know if you know this lovely story. Do you know how we've got this softy ice cream? Which is the most famous brand for, for this ice cream as you know it nowadays. Quality ka naam suna. Quality with a K. So the story is something like this. This is basically an American invention. Hamare yaan to ice cream bandhi ji woh yun ghuma ghuma ke. Pada ni aap logo ne to dekha ni apne ghar mein jaiye to even the mom may not have seen it. मम्मी की मम्मी से पूछेगा आइसक्रीम कैसे बनती एक यू आइस को पकड़ के ऐसे करते हैं व्हेन द अमेरिकन्स केम हियर दे ब्रॉट आइस मेकिंग आइसक्रीम मेकिंग मशीन एंड दे वर इंस्टॉल्ड इन देयर मेसेज इन कलकत्ता पर एट द एंड ऑफ द सेकंड वर्ल्ड वॉर व्हेन दे वर लीविंग इट वाज वर्थलेस टू टेक द मशीन बैक सो दे हैंडेड इट ओवर टू व्हिचेवर कॉन्ट्रैक्टर वाज विलिंग टू बिड फॉर इट द ओनर्स ऑफ व्हाट इज टुडे क्वालिटीज इन गेलॉर्ड्स रेस्टोरेंट द गाई लांबा फैमिली बिड फॉर इट एंड टुक इट एंड दैट्स हाउ वी गॉट क्वालिटी आइसक्रीम that's how life is. Very interesting things that keep happening as a result of globalization of those years. But the Europeans coming down back to this, they learned a lesson. They were fully destroyed in the Second World War. The entire continent was first, let me say, captured by the Germans. Every single part of France, they were in capture of that. Later on, Italians who were their allies, they captured them also because they found that they were not able to fight. When the war ended, the whole of Europe was basically under the captivity of the allies. And the allies were who? The British, the French, who were a vanquished nation themselves, and the Americans and the Russians on the other side. Here is therefore a divided continent which finds itself in the state of play. One part of it, the Russians took the eastern part and they used to have their own ideas, etc., which lasted about 20, 30 years. And what did the rest of them do? Knowing their state of play and perhaps as a result of even the Americans realizing 
that it was important that Europe stood up. Because if they had to fight the Cold War, they couldn't have done it all by themselves. The greatest, in my opinion, peace project that the world had seen. We like to call the United Nations the Great Peace Project, and it is. But perhaps in real terms, the greatest peace project that came about was putting together a few countries in Western Europe, which has now grown to 27, and making it into then the European Economic Community and taking it further to become the European Union. Today, and I know what we are seeing in Russia and Ukraine, are you really seeing countries which were at war for 500 years likely to go to war with each other? This is as we came closer, you would see there's some rationale to that happening. Do you see any rationale for the British and the French fighting or the Germans and the Russians or the Germans and the French going at each other? How have they brought about this change? And I am leaving this thought with you fundamentally on this point. They came together realizing that they had to rebuild their economy, realizing that they had a common enemy to start with Russia, Later on, bringing about a certain hegemonistic position, that the Americans and the Russians, that position one and two, where were you? Nobody, nothing. How are we what we are? A single European country, the largest economy is Germany. Their GDP is only three, three point one trillion dollars. So how can we say that? If they wanted to tell the world that they are markedly different than us, the name of the game had to be that you have to act together. That's why in some senses when they come together, they are 400 million, we are 1.2 billion people. If you do some kind of an equivalent oranges with oranges comparison, their GDP is 18 trillion to our two and a half trillion. My fundamental point to you is, in all of this is, you come together, you act inclusive. You do it for your own benefit. The world benefit, it's, uh, let me say, uh, a collateral benefit. They would have said, we did it for the world benefit. Thank you very much, sir. But ideally, you did it for your own benefit, that we all benefited. It's great for the world and great for all of us. Now, I want to tell you a little bit about their history. You know, they didn't straight away come about being 27 countries and being the European Union, they started off very small. Europe was a place where steel and coal, obviously, the starting points of economy were very big. Europe doesn't have any oil. So like many other parts of the world, including India, the coal-based economy. They are the guy who started the whole idea of steel, including our Tata, iron and steel, etc. The first collaboration came from Europe. In fact, at the end of the Second World War, when Germany was faced to give reparations, one of the reparations that was offered was to break down their steel plants and take them away. Many countries said, we also talk about a little bit of paper that has come. But fundamentally, the issue was the technology which they had. Or after building the dismantle curly, they can demand for them, which is why they came up within a short period of 30, 40 years back to where they were. You can rebuild walls, you can do a lot. Lekin jo aap log kar rahe hai, building mines, building technology and so on, that remains even among the vanquished people. And that's what they were able to leverage. So they started off with a small thing, a coming together of the steel and coal areas of work. This was then expanded to a common market. That all these countries are their own country. Germany, Apna country, Uska, Apna Desha, Apna flag, Apni constitution, Apni election, France, Apna country. Likin Hamzo tariffs or yet of customs between them, yeah, had other. And so a common market was created. And even today, it is the European common market which is the greatest source of power. Jab Hamzo Path Kartenge, 18 trillion ki market, 18 trillion GDP, 400 million low Gamapan. So, what do we do in the past? This is a big market for for India, for China, or anywhere else in the world. But it requires common sets of standards. If by some chance, somewhere in Europe, 
they think that your mangoes have an excess of pesticide. Believe me, you can't say I will send it to the Czech Republic. Oh, it's too bad, Poland, you don't get it. No, I'm sorry, you need to fall into line. It becomes a power play. It allows you to use your combined coming together to be able to do many things which you won't have been able to do. We have faced many such trade challenges with them in the past. Slowly but surely, taking all of this forward, some 10 odd years back, they recreated themselves into a coming together which went beyond pure economics. And it went into the area of politics also, trying to, in a sense, come together as one. It is nowhere near ha having happened. Each of the countries is fully sovereign, acts sovereign. But in many things, they come together and take decisions which are together. Can you imagine European countries individually taking action against the Russian? Can you imagine how difficult it would have been for Poland or Estonia or Hungary or any other European country to be able to take sanctions and actions against Russia? Even the Germans alone would have had to think. But coming together gives you a strength, a very specific kind of strength. Is it right or wrong? This is politics. And what they are doing is for their own people. Right or wrong, we can have a debate on that. But the coming together gives them that unique strength. And slowly but surely, they've graduated themselves to being an economic political union. My own personal view is that perhaps the political union is a bit ambitious. It is perhaps a difficult one to achieve, especially in today's days of a rising tide against globalization, it is perhaps also a little difficult to always be able to align political requirements of different countries. And after all, let us remember, if the European landmass became 27 countries, the reasons are rooted in the history, which wanted it to be 27 different countries. A small country like the Czech Republic is very proud in Czech language, Czech ideas, Czech things. So, you know, it is in some sense the antithesis of India, in which we talk about unity and diversity. They have, in a sense, accepted this, that the diversity stands solidified. It is now a given diversity. And they've taken that forward to try and see what we can do in terms of commonality. These are different approaches. Great Britain is a wonderful approach if any of you are studying constitutional history, which is a unified country, the uniform thing. The laws made in the British Parliament, although Scotland has some nominal areas of autonomy, these laws are absolutely valid across the country. Across the country. That's not the case in federal countries. It's not the case in the United States, not the case in Australia, not the case in Canada. Europe is a unique kind of structure. Countries are fully independent, fully sovereign. But for their own good, they come together, negotiate areas in which they won't take national action, but action be taken at the European level. Whether it is the case of sanctions against Russia, whether it is any of the other subject matters, none of these would have been possible with each and every one of them acting separately. So the thought that I leave with you again is, because they are the way they are, and because they see an interest in where they are, i.e. having come together, they are, to my mind, at least for the short run, practically, they are the way they are. They are a huge, humongous entity in terms of money, they are a huge, humongous entity in terms of technology and in terms of what they can do for the world. Consequently, for a country like India, which is climbing up the global ladder very far, they are perhaps our finest and easiest, if I may use the expression, partner. And it's something that I personally believe that we should take full advantage of. I know that we have a lot of geopolitical influence, Indo-Pacific they have very little interest in that. We have interest of China, 
China is far away country for them. They look at it like a business opportunity. But those are what you call divergence. You should focus on convergence. And that's my last point to you on this. You should always look when you look at politics, domestic or international, when you look at economics, domestic or politics or international, look for convergences and take things forward. When you reach a point where you can dictate, please do so. Today, we are very, very well suited in terms of a continuation of partnership with the, with the, uh, with the European Union. We are looking at a, what is called a free trade agreement, basically a trade agreement in which we will ease the movement of goods. But similarly, they also lay down restrictions on what we can do. I was ambassador there. When it will not cut any master. You know, in the end, what we had to do? Because the export of Alfonso's was for the Maharashtra region, a matter of ego. They just had to do it. And I can share this with you that the then Minister of Agriculture, Sri Sharad Bhavati, told me. The answer was very simple. We have to agree to their demand to set up special laboratories in and around Mumbai, where the mangoes and the produce would be tested for that kind of pesticide, and only those that were free were going to be sent. I knew there was a cost for it. But why are we incurring the cost? Because we saw other greater benefits as a result. So they leveraged their power. Have no doubt about it. They leverage their power in a very big way. We also leverage our power. We have a large number of powers that we exercise vis a vis the Europeans. We are among the world's largest purchasers of defense equipment. It isn't just like this that the French and others are well disposed towards us. If I can share this in some confidence, there are not many buyers for the Rafael because there's nobody who has the affordability for something as good as that. And we are in a position to do that. So there is a mutuality of interest. And it sits well with the two economies and the two societies. I want to stop here. I want to take questions. Please ask me questions, including the ones which are which you think are difficult or embarrassing. Because I want to leave a thought with all of you. As you grow up, as you get into the job markets, no matter the fact that they are not an English-speaking continent, no matter the fact that German French are not easy for people to come by, there's a changing society there. It's a society where you will find that almost every second person understands English, even if he may not speak it fluent. You will find that their understanding of your country sometimes is far better than our own understanding. They are the world's greatest travelers. They travel all over the world. They have the money and they utilize the money. They are also people who have had exposure to the world in a very large manner. Any number of them have European collaborations or have sari sir of Britain than here. France say Germany say Spain say Italy say Czech Republic say our Jan. Many Roma say Bujana Conlord motorcycle Jalapin. I can give about Java. Czech Republic. The most famous hand I'm, I'm talking about countries which are not so well known. The best handguns which are used in India in the elite forces of the SPG, etc. They don't come from the United States or from Russia. Either the Glock pistols come from Austria or they come from Belgium. The best dogs for the purposes of anti-terrorist activity. They don't. They are the most well-known, the German Shepherd. But it's a dog breed that comes from Belgium. You go to the supermarket. 
ना कभी कभी जाते हैं फिर तो मम्मी एंड डैडी एंड ऑन देयर टू डू कभी कभी जाते हो हैव यू सीन दिस वंडरफुल लिटिल बिस्किट्स व्हिच हैव स्टार्टेड अपीयरिंग देयर कॉल्ड बिस्को किसने देखा सिनेमन इनकल्केटेड बिस्कुट बिस्किट्स दे अगेन कम फ्रॉम द फ्रेंच एंड द बेल्जियंस हैव यू सीन द ट्रेन सर्विसेज द न्यू कोचेस दैट आर कमिंग अप इन इंडिया the spanish in design the original ones were all german or swedish i can look around here if i remove china the only continent that you will see all around are the europeans it's a place which is intrinsically linked with us and there is a sense of comfort i happen to be in bon la free and i want to tell you from the 40 years that i have spent traveling in europe it's a wonderful feeling ke indian restaurants to aapko chote chote gaon mein hi milte hain kai logon ne indian restaurant apne aap chala diye gore log chala rahe hain indian nahi chala rahe bangladeshi chala rahe hain nepali chala rahe hain but the desire and interest in having indian food is tremendous among them and to stop let me tell you a little story what do you think is one of the most let me say identifiable indian name agar main aap logo se puchu to hum log bahut kahenge main kahunga singh koi kahega kumar koi kahega subramanyam koi rao kuch khan kuch ye wo par aap manenge ki sharma bhi ek bahut interesting naam hai ye usse zyada indian aadmi ho nahi sakta क्योंकि मेरे एक नेपाल के अलावा और कोई चरना जी अंदर घुरे नहीं है मोल्टा जैसे छोटे से कंट्री में द फैंटेस्टिक मिशन एंड स्टार इंडियन रेस्टोरेंट रन बाय नॉन इंडियन डू यू नो व्हाट द नेम ऑफ द रेस्टोरेंट इट्स कॉल्ड शर्मा इंडिया में होता है सो लेट मी स्टॉप या हैव आई स्टिल गॉट सम टाइम और आई हैव केप्ट एंटरटेनिंग द गाइस आई होप दैट ऑफ यू वर एंटरटेन कुछ लोग हंस रहे थे मुझे अच्छा लगा कुछ लोग वहां से कह रहे थे यार दरवाजा पास से निकल जाए <laughs> कोई बात नहीं सॉरी यार यू नो देर इज अ प्राइस टू बी पेड व्हेन यू हैव द यूनिवर्सिटी वन ऑफ देम इज यू हैव अ सेट टू कैरेक्टर्स लाइक मी ऑफ सो गुड दैट मे आस्क द क्वेश्चन यू वाज समबडी राइज द बिगिनिंग प्लीज कामिता आदिदास ठाकुर जी मोनेट सी एंड ऑफ द आस्क फ्रॉम यूएस मोस्ट ऑफ द वंस द बोथ वाज ओनली वन आई एंड Clearly, you know what I am. What would be the impact? And I want to also know your uh, comment on that. Uh, in this world, uh, right? Uh, we are living in uh, geopolitics, and uh, I mean, put at that level, uh, we are representatives for country. But still, uh, there will be about uh, forty, uh, forty or fifty IFS. So, shouldn't we just put it in the? Anybody else wants to ask me questions about the UPSC? You know, I have to tell you. When I came here, I was received by Professor Sahab. He decided to take a break from here. So, I asked him what he had studied. So, he told me that he had studied my PhD dissertation in Poland. Okay, Poland. Okay, so I have to ask you. 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 जैसे आपने कहा स्वाभाविक फेल में मैंने उनको पूछा तो आपके जो सारे स्टूडेंट एस्पिरेंट हो गए वो कह रहे ये है मेरा काम नहीं <laughs> मैंने कहा बिल्कुल ठीक है तो आपने सही सवाल पूछ लिया मेरे से मुझे तो लगे रहा था ये मैं पहली बार आया हूँ आपकी यूनिवर्सिटी एनी वन एल्स वॉन्ट टू आस्क एनी अदर क्वेश्चन अबाउट द यूपीएससी या प्लीज आस्क मैडम समी कैन गिव अ सम
थैंक यू 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 मेन मेड मी फील वेरी गुड ये इन्होंने सवाल किया था ना कि क्या करें ये फोर्टी से नीचे आते हैं मेरा नंबर थोड़ा सा उससे ऊपर था लेकिन ऐसा है वन ऑफ द थिंग्स इंडियन फॉरेन सर्विस टीच इज यू इज पर इफ नॉट दी आर्ट ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन उसमें शायद भगवान भी को थोड़ा बहुत आपको दिखाता है बट इट सर्टनली गेट्स आउट द फियर ऑफ मीटिंग अदर्स मैं आपको एक बहुत अच्छा सा उदाहरण यू नो ऑल गवर्नमेंट ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड what are civil servants essentially doing in all cup they are representing sovereignty authority and exercising law in which they are the empowered lot yani main yahan table pe baitha hua hu aap aaiye aapka mood mere ko nahi pasand chahe main india mein hu chahe germany mein maa thoda sa dar ke karega agar koi galat galat kaam hai yahan par pakistan mein are chal ja khatam hui baat aap fir ghoomte phirte rehna 10 saal court vote ke chakkar mein wo bhi bol the only members of any governments लेट मी से गवर्नमेंट सर्विस या आर्मी वगैरह को छोड़ देगी वो तो लड़ाई झगड़े की बात ओनली पीपल हु वर्क इन अ प्लेस वेर दी अदर गाय सिटिंग ऑन द चेयर एंड यू आर स्टैंडिंग एज अप्लीकेंट इन फ्रंट ऑफ अदर डिप्लोमैट आई एम पोस्टेड एज एम्बेसिडर बहुत इज्जत आबरू ये वो कारपेट वारपेट सब जगह लगे हुए लेकिन जाके तो यही कहना है कि भाई साहब मेरी बात जरा मान तो जाइए वो मानना नहीं मानना उसके ऊपर यहां पर आई एम दे वॉन्ट टू डिसाइड किया बात माननी या नहीं माननी इट इज अ वेरी यूनिक आर्ट एंड डिप्लोमेसी डिप्लोमैट्स इन फॉरन सर्विस विशेष ऑफ ऑल कंट्रीज इन द वर्ल्ड यस यू कैन बी दी अमेरिकन रिप्रेजेंटेटिव इन अ स्मॉल लिटल कंट्री यू कैन बिहेव एज इफ यू आर एवरीथिंग बिकॉज यू नो द पावर ऑफ दी यू एस एस लिमिट स्टैंडिंग वैंड यू बट उसको छोड़ के फॉर मोस्ट अदर पीपल डिप्लोमेसी इज अबाउट स्कोरिंग i would say go and fight for trying to get your point through in an environment where the sovereignty rests with the other person and the person for right or wrong may say no so i believe that it does teach you a lot it also makes you uh by necessity understand the role of communication the role of reaching out a degree of jisko kehte hain nimrata a degree of playing the game लोग वैसे हमारे यहाँ हसी मजाक में ये कहते हैं कि इट्स ऑल अबाउट अल्कोहल एंड प्रोटोकॉल एंड दिस दैट दो आर आल्सो कवर अप ऑफ द होल थिंग एट द एंड ऑफ द डे यू आर ट्राइंग टू पुट योर पॉइंट अक्रॉस सो फ्रेंड आई शुड टेल यू सम नाइस स्टोरीज यू नो व्हेन द यूपीएससी बिजनेस स्टार्टेड स्टार्टेड ऑफ कॉर्स इन ब्रिटिश टाइम्स बट इंडिपेंडेंट इंडिया एंड आई शेयर विद यूर पर्सनल एक्सपीरियंस पर्सनल एग्जाम्पल the first examination was held in 1947 obviously it could have been held before that with the results declared in 1948 and the next one was held in 1948 and 1949 was the fact now my father joined the indian administrative service in 1949 he was the number 2 in the batch my family came across from then pakistan so did my father you guys want to hear the story i went and saw the you know i went and saw the partition exhibition yesterday agar aap mein se kisi ne nahi dekhi uh delhi ke ngma mein thi kal tak agar koi amritsar jaye to partition museum zarur dekhiyega golden temple ke paas mein i went and saw the exhibition because my daughter was edging me but i went and saw it and came back and i was very much remembering my father I was born well after partition. I was born only in 1959. My father was the first class first from the law college in Lahore. He had just done his first year. After having graduated from Rawalpindi, where he stood first in the university, he joined law college in Lahore. He was first in the year 1947. They had to migrate. he came to delhi you know what the delhi university law faculty told him they told him wonderful you are great you are fantastic but you know we don't recognize punjab university so all those who have studied there they have to start from all over the beginning the only possible exception is if the chancellor of the university 
then the Chief Justice of India, Sir Morris Dwyer, or Ruth Zamane, may be able to If he by any chance decides that you have an exception, ho sakta. don't ask me how, but my father had an opportunity to meet Sir Morris Dwyer, who agreed that this boy will be admitted in the second year of LLB. Ustame, Amaria, Tintala, graduation career, then those are LLB, and then you would qualify. He could be admitted in second year of LLB. My father not only taught the Delhi University, he was the president of the students' union, which in that time didn't follow elections, but you know, those who top got him. Later on, joined the IAS, didn't go to Yale. The main reason, very simple. We had come after partition. Who knew? Who knew what the wide world was? Apni ghar ki paristitiyan sabhalni thi. Saw chizhe karni thi. But at the fag end of his career, my father was appointed India as ambassador to the European Union. Something that I had the proud fortune to follow 30 years later. And I used to jokingly say that I am the only child whose only graduation in 30 years has been from the children's bedroom to the master bedroom in the Indian army. When I was to join the foreign service, I sat for the exam I qualified. I would have gotten into the IAS very easily. He told me. Beja, my circumstances were different. I want to tell you that the circumstances of India have changed. And I'm talking about the early 80s. Go for the foreign service. In your life, you will be not just the guy going there and saying, you know, we're a poor country, developing, please do something for us, etc. You stand up head, head high. Not just fighting for decolonization. Colonies ko aap ajali de do ye kar. You stand there with the power that flows as a result of what you do. And I want to tell you in my 40 years career, I have personally seen from my first years going to an Aid India Consortium meeting to a time when I was writing a few million dollar checks and handing it over maybe to small companies. Things are changing. I started this conversation with you by telling you the world's perception of India. Do you know, let me put it to you like this. Bhagavan na kare, kiti ke liye koi problem ho jai, aap Tamil Nadu mein posted hai. Aur aapke, yaan Gautam Bhut Nagar mein kuch problem ho jai. Aapko aane mein bhi 24 ghandhe to lagi jayenge. New York se aadmi yaan 24 ghandhe mein pohon. Aur wo vahat te jo aata na, wo turant pohonj bhi jata. Uski jeb mein bhi kuch hota hai. Dil mein bhi kuch hota hai. Aur kuch push bhi hoti hai. Don't we all see it all the time? Humare jo bhai bandhu hai na, over see, wo pehle pohon jata hai. Rajanand Jodar Gurgaon mein rehta hai, wo yaan gaya. Unko gaari mein traffic jai wabhi mein na. So, it's not because of people. What I'm saying is that life has changed, India has changed. The world's perceptions of India have changed. And so, therefore, I would strongly leave with you this thought. People say, we can do more for people when we are here. Look, I have no doubt that you can do a lot. If you are district magistrate, you can do a lot for the people here. If you are allowed to do so, I want to turn to that. But do you think that the India of tomorrow is going to be an India only within the four circles of where you are here? Gautam Buddha Nagar mein so it is because of Jivar Airport. It is because of each of these big huge projects which are coming up. Every single one of them is a multinational project. Because of Jivar Airport, it is a multinational project. It is a multinational project. I did not know this. It has become quite clear to me. Do you know the number of companies doing outsourcing business in this district of yours? And they are all working for American companies. I just took an Uber from my place and came here. The boy was driving here. Said, you know, sir, today is Friday and something is off in my office, so I'm here. Otherwise, I own this car, but I actually work for a company which does medical services outsourcing. 
and for five days of the week, I hire a driver and he runs the car. And he says, that particular thing has upgraded so much of my life. India, to become the third largest economy in the world, the largest country in the world, you're going to be inward looking. No, sir. No. So, if it's below 40, it's even better. You have doubled the chance. Go for it, man. Go for it. Go for the government. It is an important element. But remember, it's not the only types of positions which are available. I want to serve your pen, your country, your region, or humanity. The world is open in front of you. And you are very fortunate being in a great place now. In a minute, I am not willing to accept this. It can't be that only the guys in the front row. You know, when we were in school, nobody sat in the front row. You are the back bench and you know, Ulta Gaviya bench is Ayakam. Take it, tell you, I'll put you here. You know, first of all, stop in class. You have to make classes, bend them and give you a button. But I'm Sir, uh, you work as the lead of the of the United Nations for the So, my question is the European policy is youthful for its development and for its and sorry for development. But so now, when India is doing it, so they are getting lifted upon the Europe, like uh, the way India is not going to be able to do it. So, uh, what should you say in this regard? Excellent question. It's a question that I answer everywhere where I'm asked to go and speak on climate change. This is what is called the hegemony of power. They have it. They don't want you to have it. The Americans are exactly the same. The name of the game in climate change is actually strategic negotiation and about preservation of power. So I'll give you one or two little hints to it. The more the fuel that you spend, the higher will be your GDP, the more will be your power, and the more, but the more will be your GHG emission. Now, new technology is coming. Hydrogen, solar, so maybe without GHG the power is coming. But this is not going to come so quickly. So what are they doing? They are in effect telling you that we have done something wrong, we have done something wrong, we have done something wrong, but you don't do it. What is the net result? That they will come here and we will come here. We will not give them, we will not give them. They will do something wrong. Now, when the Ukraine came here, so slowly, slowly, we can see that we have to run a force plant for the on-cari. Hegemony of power, no people are different. We always talk about how this is going to happen today. I can ask you, ask your father, they say that people are going to happen in our time, and they say that this is going to happen in our time. And every group is going to happen in our time. Okay? But in the human mind, there is no change. They are going to be able to get the same thing, and they are going to be able to get the same thing. Yes. Yes. आज ये बहुत जबरदस्त चीज है 500 साल के बाद 500 इयर्स ऑफ मॉडर्न इंडस्ट्रियलाइजेशन के बाद फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम इन इन ह्यूमन हिस्ट्री हम लोग दिस इंक्लूड्स इंडिया इट इंक्लूड्स अफ्रीका इट इंक्लूड्स द चाइनीज दे पराप्त होने द काउंटेशन वर्ल्ड आर नॉट द ओनली प्लेयर हम लोग इंडिया में बहुत सारी बातें करते हैं ना कहीं कहीं हम लोग गूगल को but why did they have a tendency? Because they were able to get the benefits of technological innovation there. By guns. Hamari yaad ho thini talwaro ke log lada hai. Ura zala gun laya dardar ni uda hai. Yehi uda na mota mota baat hai. Ham aadhiyo me chadhe to uda na kabhi aadhi nahi hai. Gun laya uda na aadhi nahi hai. Yeh point I am making to you is. They have been the leaders of technological innovation. But globalization in the last 30 or 40 years has brought about a sea change in the dissemination of the benefits of globalization. Before, they had to train for 50 years. 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 Globalization has happened in the first place. In our countries, they had to train for 50 years. China, India, Pakistan, everyone. जो हैव नॉट बेनिफिट दे हैव बेनिफिटेड द मोस्ट मेरे जैसे लोग करीब मिडिल क्लास फैमिली भी बेनिफिटेड है ताजा बिरला का मुझे पता नहीं वो तब भी बहुत बड़े लेकिन इन द वेस्ट व्हाट हैज हैपेंड 
जो उनके यहाँ सो कॉल्ड गरीब तबका यानी काम करने वाले लोग बेनिफिट पहले उनके यहाँ एक एयर कंडीशनर बनाता था आदमी घूम में फिर में टूरिज्म की हवा खाता था उसकी सैलरी बड़ी थी ये थी वो थी आज एयर कंडीशनर जनरल इलेक्ट्रिक कोरिया में पांच बेटर जापान में बेटर चाइनीज में तो बेस्ट इन दीपल एंड इवन द अमेरिकन आर इम्पोर्टिंग फ्रॉम सो दी मिडिल क्लास पीपल द वर्किंग क्लास पीपल इन द डेवलपिंग वर्ल्ड बेनिफिटेड ह्यूजली फ्रॉम ग्लोबलाइजेशन इन द डेवलप वर्ल्ड नेशनलिज्म प्रोटेक्शनिज्म ट्रम्पिज्म राइट विंग ऑल दी पैसे इन दो We have issues of ideology. They have no issues. I mean, we have issues of ethnicity. Is this that and that? Look at what they did. As a unique case, I don't want to get into our politics. In both countries, it is much to do with the benefit. They believe that they are losers of them of globalization. They like to deglobalize if they can. But you know, once the genie is out of the bottle, who's going to deglobalize? I told you about Steve Jobs telling Barack Obama, "Mr. President, I will do everything to make America great, but no jobs coming." He didn't mean Steve Jobs. So, guys, everybody wants to take a break. It's three thirty. We still have ten minutes or twenty. Yes, sir. Yeah. ग्लोबल जी डी पी टूडे is about 89 or 90 trillion dollars out of which the united states is 21 the european union is 18 britain is 3 so you know they are all at about 21 each so that makes them as a transatlantic come together roughly 50% of global gdp or slightly more than 50% of global gdp the chinese are only 14 i mean only is not the right word to use they are the next biggest but they are 14 so without any doubt the atlantic ocean at least till now is the pivot of the world ye alag baat hai hum jo keh rahe the indo pacific will become usme will become mein kya hai we are adding the united states to that now it is true that the united states does a lot in its west coast but you know fundamentally i think the fact is up till now you will agree the united states is an atlantic looking society and an atlantic looking polity which is why nato is important which is why the transatlantic alliance is important now within this alliance after the second world war no matter europe been on equal footing in terms of economy politically they haven't been able to score them shuru mein to baat bahut simple thi bhai pite hue ho american bases were located all over europe to aap kis haisiyat se apni shakal lo saath mein the russian hawas Right in front of you, they were the cold war was on. They had ICBM trained at you. So where were you in a position? But the last twenty years after the collapse of the Soviet Union gave the Europeans a new feeling. It hum bhi dunya mein kuch ho sakte. For all of us in India, elsewhere also it was interesting because it showed that the world was not just a bipolar one. The G1 and G2 aapas mein sab decide kar rahe hain. We have no choice. There was a degree of multipolarity, and that multipolarity fundamentally came because, to some extent, the Americans would get challenged by the Europe. This was especially noticeable in economic matters. The Americans would say, "We won't give any development cooperation to Europe." The Europeans would say, "We won't." You know, the climate change का सवाल का Americans said, "We are walking out of Kyoto Protocol." The Europeans said, "हम तो करेंगे." तो कम से कम कुछ challenges, कुछ degree of multipolarity तो थी. China rise in the completely autonomous matter. This is the natural world. The entire Western world is threatened. So we are human. So our gulam is there, and we are with our hands. But after this, the world is changing. 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 The world is chang
अपने में आई डोंट नो बट मोस्ट पीपल डू लेट मी देयर फॉर योर देयर वाज अ 60 70 इयर्स ऑफ लेट मी से लेस कॉस्ट ग्रेट बेनिफिट बिकॉज़ द अमेरिकन प्रोवाइडेड अ काइंड ऑफ सिक्योरिटी अम्ब्रेला द रशियंस वर नॉट इन अ थ्रेटनिंग मूड यू कुड विल ट्रेड एंड अदर रिलेशंस एंड टेक योर टाइम फॉर वंस ऑल ऑफ दैट कोलैप्स फॉर व्हाट एवर रीजन मिस्टर पुटिन नॉट बीइंग अ रीजनेबल मैन Zelensky playing a card which he should not be playing. The Americans playing the dirty game. The Europeans also have played a bit of it. The cost obviously come to them. Our South Asian country. I have made a little bit of an example. Afghanistan has already opened the door. Of course, it impacts India. But Pakistan is not an impact. Oh, man. So we have to do actually something. We have to do something. We have to watch. Similarly, Russia. is the bordering country as far as most european countries are concerned na apne wo dusre tarah atlantic ocean ki dusri tarah baitha hua kitni gadi nahi ki icbm ko wahan pahunchne icbm par chodo aaj kal ke jo cyber attacks ye wo they have something they can distance and then they can simply say we won't have anything to do with you aap to saath khade ho wo kahega acha bachu to uske saath jada jada na aap aa zara main tumhari puchu karu you know i am talking in terms of The, fire, the way you can understand these things very easily. पुराने जमाने में हम लोग ने छोटे शहर और गांव वगैरह में कहते थे ना वो बड़े आदमी के साथ उसकी पूछी लाई बंद करता था ना वो तो भाग जाना है ना आपकी कोटाई अच्छी हो जाएगी तो ना थोड़ा नहीं है ये आप लोग जानते हैं सब सब ये कहते हैं ये इतना ज़्यादा नहीं तो ना यूरोपियन बाउंड्र And these are relevant also for our region, in our area. You know, big powers, big countries play games. This is the nature of everybody. It will not change today. It will not change in the past. A lot of the families many game play. It is a human being. They are at a country level. They are playing the game. What are country? They are nation states. What are nation states? Sort of a bigger entity. Look at it differently, but the canvas is larger. What do we do? We play these hegemonistic games. Me on top, you below me. You must listen to me. My influences will run. In each and every one of these particular things, what do we see finally happen? That the Europeans have, in a sense, found themselves a little corner. Now, I will give you the example of South Asia. I tell many people, you know, we have Sri Lanka, Nepal as example. Look, guys, big countries who play their games. But it is the leadership of your country and your people who needs to realize how much you should play the game. So, for example, I'll tell you between India and Sri Lanka, since that's very much in the card, or India and Nepal, China, India, a kind of contestation. I would tell the leaders of those countries, I am nobody to tell you not to play us with the women, but understand to what limits you should. Because in any other ways, me who is from more proximate to loses it, only you will be the loser. Similarly, when you come to the Europeans in a place like like uh, Ukraine, think a little bit about yourself. If you start losing, I'll stop. You start losing your autonomy and become recipients of the other person's doing things. The cost will be more than. How much of the Russia-Ukraine war is not being bought by the United States? Again, the Ukrainians are the worst suckers. I mentioned to you the example of third countries in the region. The next thing, perhaps in terms of money, even more, are about to be the Europeans. They have the ability and resilience. Don't write them off. They will come back like money. But the cost will have to be borne by them. The nature of the game. And so that is why. Your own leadership is always most important. आप इतना समझते हो कि इतनी मेरे में भी शक्ति है कौन सी लाइफ से आगे नहीं जाना चाहिए इन माय ओन सेल्फ इंटरेस्ट गेम तो जरूर खेलनी चाहिए नहीं खेलोगे तो आपको बोल के बोल कहेंगे वो नहीं है कोई भी लेकिन इतनी गेम खेलनी चाहिए वो जब को कहते हैं अपना पर्स जब भी पता होगा थैंक यू वेरी मच आई बीन Well, so I'm happy that I'm very happy because I have this feeling that I might underscore it, and that's not a good idea. All the best.
ये इस तरह का लेक्चर मेरे लिए तो ना ही होती है ये एनयू में ऐसी पढ़ाई नहीं होती प्रैक्टिशनर्स के साथ हमेशा कुछ ना कुछ गड़बड़ी होती है thank you sir thank you sir for your humility and uh, your very interesting presentation uh, we need to tell our students a uh, little, little bit more about your uh, very interesting career span so um, ambassador manjeev singh puri is presently a distinguished fellow at terry and ananta center he was the former ambassador and lead negotiator for india at united nations framework convention on climate change indian ambassador to the european union belgium luxembourg and nepal ambassador puri was also the deputy permanent representative of india to the un from 2009 to 2012 Prior to that, from 2005 to 2009, he headed the division in the Ministry of External Affairs, dealing with UN issues on social and economic uh, problems. He was a lead negotiator for India at the UN on the issues relating to the post-2015 developmental agenda. He was also a delegate at various climate change negotiations, including the conference of parties of the UNFCC in Copenhagen in December two thousand and nine. Before that, he was at Montreal, Bali, Bonn. Furthermore, he was involved with India's participation in the G eight and G five summits from two thousand and five. and was the point person for major economic forums an alumnus of st stephen's college university of delhi ambassador puri's professional focus has been on issues relating to environment climate change and sustainable development thank you ma'am that's what you would basically be telling you that the 40 years is more than just a question of which rank thank you ma'am Now, continuing with the session proper, who else could have been a better and more appropriate person to address a youth group for this closing ceremony filled with energy and enthusiasm? Uh, so, Doctor Kanoj Mohan, can you just stand to me? Just a second. Yeah. Which one? I now request Dr. Sheetal Sharma, the backbone of this program, to address the gathering. Dr. Sheetal Sharma is a faculty at the Center for European Studies, School of International Studies, Jawaharlal Nehru University, New Delhi. She has received JNU Research Excellence Award for outstanding contribution and excellence in the field of social sciences and humanities in the Young Scholars category for the year 2018-19. Dr. Sharma is also selected for the prestigious European Union Visitors Program 2020. She has been awarded financial grants for a number of projects funded under the framework of the Erasmus Program of the European Union and has been part of a number of international. Project as a project investigator from India, Dr. Sharma has a large number of publications to her credit, comprising books, research papers, articles, book chapters, comments, and columns. May I request you, ma'am, to just kindly come on the stage? How do you? Yeah, I almost forgot last time when I came. So that's why I uh, don't call him Guruji. Just say that you are the Drona Charya for me. He is not a uh, formal guru, but I have made him Guruji. Made him very much. Really, to everyone, he, our session, the organizers, me, for the chance. Last ten minutes, sir. So let's enjoy as much as possible we can. We are a dynamic press speaker. Kept secretly for you for the last session, and now we close up everything on the series of European studies. So, if you have any interesting facts or what are you, sir, can let me add them. Number one, that why European studies? 
you have been listening to all political, historical, social, all the aspects of them. But there is something very unique among them. So, I have that the modern ethics who are doing it, who are very nice, percent of the past year. The other parts of the world, the other regions of the world, the other countries of the world, who are very natural, but something to see as a benchmark, who are very much in the center of the world. In Arya, sometimes when I'm in my class and I tell students that this study is a summer circle to understand the global politics in terms of three generations. Europe, the first generation, Americans, the second generation, Chinese, the third generation, Bada Bhai, and Indians, the middle ones, and Balmashi Bhagavala, Pakistan, and Chote Balmash Brothers. So, hmm? so Europe is a third generation character. And Dada Ji was saying, Harvey Kul Sunda. But near setting, template setting, rule setting, order setting is something that comes from that generation only. Fifth, property generation, the US, which has muscle power, which controls the world, economy, strength, strength, strength. And the ability to control the world, dictate the world from here to here as a second generation. And the third generation, China, what a bike. He probably made a noun, who made a noun, muscle flexing, a capital movement, a chuck is made a noun, go to a noun. If you all belong to this cultural territory, so we know how things work. On the Chota by India, my way is to come to you. Maybe it's on the other. When I met in Prophet Mew, or I didn't get Chica, but he gave me care and the person of the church, but I'm for the other way, Tina, like River Life, Mona, Yusuf Fade, Kana, and all that can be wonderfully understood in terms of a family. Ye global order. Our society, our family is a reflection of everything that happens at whatever level might be. And this is beautifully understood. So, I think that the state is an actor. Our Ukraine is a spring figure. After this post war, we are Europeans, the Russian, everybody is applying their mind to wait up a situation in which they do not get entangled with the problem of Fiji. Now, Europe is addressing all the historical stories. We are some from this world of the mindset, history, history, and the moment that I start talking about. Eurocentric over here, European see, but I got a in the normal for push up. You know, a long list of things in an American Barbati and by some center for European studies in faculty, but I can find in all goodness of things without any predicate. You can do a chat on your college furniture. A very interesting story that I mean, um, in your minds, after Bria, they come out of our regions for the management, maybe our people, world map, imagine for regions of the world, imagine for. जो यूरोपियन सेवन का मैन्युफैक्चरिंग जो है वो आज भी बोर्ड और स्टील पे बेस्ड है नॉट शुड जितना आप ईस्ट की तरफ जाओ सारा प्लास्टिक है ना ये ये कंजम्पशन कंज्यूमेबल सेंस एवरीथिंग दैट इज समथिंग व्हिच इज अगेंस्ट द नेचर ऑफ इकोनॉमिक एनवायरनमेंट बट इनका आज भी जो कोर मैन्युफैक्चरिंग है जो रॉ मटेरियल है वो स्टील और बोर्ड है अब आप लोग घड़ी का एग्जांपल देख लो टाइम्स ऑफ इंडिया वगैरह में कितने बड़े बड़े वन पेज now, every watch derives its prestige pattern from the year in which it was manufactured. So, the bridge you may get on into the bridge is not to lift out that 1752. Prana did not have much hair. Or if he was under the neighbor, but I could have a little bit of 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 a little but they derived this prestige out of these years. Of the temple Initially, the people those who used to travel four kilometers in a day are now going transatlantic in four hours. Supersonic the Vapana, although close to Hapsa world, but these people were on horses back, and there was no way to keep time. Sunset or sunrise, which was very deceptive in winters also. So, what is it? Watch the industry. The choice of industry is not a matter of time, but it is difficult to talk about it. When you watch the industry, you can watch the watch making 
कुछ पॉइंट्स आए कुछ लोगों ने बनाना शुरू किया रोटेशन पे आया अब एक इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग जो पॉइंट होता है ना आपका वो पहले आयरन का बना अब आयरन क्या था वो भी प्रोटेस्टेंट नहीं था सभी आते थे तो सपोर्ट ज्यादा था क्योंकि वो सब दिनों एक चीज हो गया था तो आयरन यूज्ड टू ट्रेन और जैसे ही ट्रेन हुआ तो पीस जो हो रहा था एक दूसरे को दोनों एक में पक्का था वो इस टाइम पर होगा वो चलती बंद हो जाती है व्हेन दीस गाइस अप्लाई देयर माइंड दिस आर अप्लाई देयर माइंड कि ऐसा प्रोडक्ट बनाया गया व्हिच इज टेंपरेचर रेजिस्टेंट एंड व्हिच एट लीस्ट कैन स्टैंड सम ह्यूमिडिटी excellent believers of the products that are there so kuch na kuch to hai jo hasti milaye nahi hai zyada ji to nahi hai hai na so the patient is going to be there and he they may continue to dictate although of course there will be challenges from different generation and different country also in that area but something that is to good to learn from them is the objectivity rationality the template of model and last thing I ask you to imagine something. जैसे जैसे हम लोग बोल रहे थे विजुअल चल रहा है, अच्छे विचार में ये वो हो रहा है कि आपके दिमाग में ना जो बोल रहे हैं वो वो पिक्चराइज़ कर रहे हैं, उन्हीं की जैसे चल रहा है। अब एक चीज़ मैं आपको इमेजिन करने के लिए बोलती हूँ कि how successful they were। हम सेक्युलराइजेशन की बात करते हैं, मॉडर्नि� from our side. अब इन्होंने कैसे किया? They were very ethnic, very divided, very unequal society. Everything. And there's one book which I've sent to Mars. Mars, you can send it to all of them. The making of modern Europe by Jeffrey Bridger. कितनी मोटी किताब है डरना नहीं. ठीक है. पहले चार चैप्टर को पढ़ी लेना. बाद में बेशक मत पढ़ना. पहले हंड्रेड पेजेस मस्ट रीड हैं. और वो ऐसी किताब नहीं है कि आप अगर that book is written by a headmaster, this is the answer. And he said he accepts the fact that we don't know where close to Indian civilization or Chinese civilization from 400 to 500 years back. She rather than I can tell you. So, he said 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 he so if I ask you to imagine a big building, a big visualized world, go to the photo of your demand. A person belonging to a lower caste, a Dalit, a tribal king, a king. So in your demand, you have an image. Okay? Now these are monarchies, these were ruled by kings. So kings were there at the top of the land. So monarchy, there is no place, such a lot. So King was in Africa and I made your own image out of there. And if I say a peasant or a subject, so we need some person out there, downloaded this belly from our demand out there. So these are imaginaries which are there associated with our understanding our subject. Once they decided that we have to do away with this all system of cultural thinking, cultural rootedness, they replaced this idea with King or subject का idea और difference by state and citizen। अब जब मैं बोलूँ state, तो आप इस बारे में क्या आएगा? ऐसी नहीं आती, बस एक दम से king की आती है। हमने सोचा बस ये state क्या कहते हैं मैंने राजस्थान, इंडिया में ये सब लोग आदमी state of the beautiful great neighbor wife or the cultural rootedness. Or if we have a subject, both the image are in here, but if I say second one, what image comes to your mind? But I don't know that you have to hangalify your mental bag in order to take an image out. That is the beauty of establishing modernity, rationality, scientific thinking, and doing all the reports. It's like, it doesn't mean that culture is not going to be done. Culture exists there. 
But the beautiful thing is that their journey started from nowhere. They decided to go. And Hamara or Umpa incident in Mogo Aker. Umpa Mogo Kara, Mogo European Union, united in diversity. For Hamara Kara, unity in Paris. Up so Shamir Badani, what's the difference between unity and united? Unity is just a state of existence of multiple groups, people together at a given point of time. United is an effort. It's a process. I united you with your pain. So many kya I've done some hard work on it. That's what is united in privacy. So at the end of these 10 days of um, a whole lot of peace on European studies. I thank all of you for listening very patiently to all our experts. To me also, a couple of times so from inaugural to beach day left here at the final day. And I thank everybody. Let me call everybody to say Garima, Mansi, Aroma, Apeksha, uh, Monica, and Pratyush is not here. Pratyush is not here. And uh, Vasim Sir is also not here. The team uh, whom I have been interacting from day one, sir, I just said talking to you. Entire thing we have done. So we will be very honest. So we will be back to you. Well, they are so hard working. They are so hard working. I tell you honestly. See, our teachers say, our teachers are very young to talk about it, but our teachers say that they will be part of it. They will talk about it, but they will be part of it. 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 Organize करते हैं, manage करते हैं, leadership है, control है, speech है, सब कुछ तो उनसे ठीक है वहाँ। So that is why I tell you honestly that make most of these years that I was you are spending with your teachers here because you are not just learning syllabus, syllabus तो एक एक तो बोल रहे हो online में जीने वाला, है ना? But ये जो है, जो आपका interaction है, व्यवहार है, व्यवहारिकता है, अंदर एंडी के discipline का एक लोन is immense value. Or many Guru Sikhyon, many Guru Sikhyon, Guru Sikhyon, and so forth. And this is what we learn from them. These are the actual learnings. Because slavers go in a question on the community. What you come out as a consolidated outcome personality is that you will do. Take no mice and mice and mice. Thank you so much for being there. And over to you. Fantastic. I love now, I would like to invite Dr. Man C from School of Liberal Education to felicitate our volunteers. I request Dr. Paroma to call the names of volunteers for felicitation. Srishti Raj. I request Dr. Ishrat Ma'am to felicitate her. Srishti Raj. 
Prince Chauhan, I would request Apeksha ma'am to felicitate Prince Chauhan. Abhishek, Dr. Mansi ma'am, please felicitate Abhishek. अभिषेक जायसवाल धीरज शर्मा Gorika ma'am, please. I would request Gorika ma'am to felicitate Neeraj Sharma. Kunjan Saurat, I would request Ishraq ma'am to felicitate Kunjan. Devraj Thakur, I would request. I would request Monica, ma'am, to felicitate Devraj. Himanj. Himanshi Patel. I would request Mansi, ma'am, to felicitate Himanshi. Ujwal Pathak. I would request Gorka, ma'am, to felicitate Uchwal. Aisha Saifi, I would request Apiksha, ma'am, to felicitate Aisha. Gulam Nabi Azad. Gulam Nabi. Thank you. I would request Abhishek Jaiswal. Total confusion, ma'am. Abhishek Jaiswal. I would request Pratyush sir to felicitate Abhishek. Sorry. Um, I would request Gulam Nabi Ahmed to come on stage and Gaurika ma'am, please felicitate Gulam Nabi Ahmed. Srishti Kohli. Okay. Harsh Agarwal. I would request Ishrat ma'am to felicitate Harsh. Aswad. I would request Monica ma'am to felicitate Aswad. Akshan Narayan. Uh, I would request Mansi ma'am to felicitate Akshan. Last but not the least, Divya Kumari. I would request Pratyush sir to felicitate Divya. Thank you, ma'am. I would again request Dr. Paroma to call names of organizers for felicitation who have left no stones unturned to make this program a huge success. Herein, I would like to request Dr. Shinkal Sharma to give token of appreciation to all the organizers. Can all of you please maintain silence? We have come towards the end of this program to please, please maintain silence. We are now going to 
felicitate all the members of our organizing team. I would request Dr. Sheetal Sharma, ma'am, to give a token of appreciation to Dr. Mansi Sinha. I would request um, Sheetal ma'am again to felicitate Dr. Pratyush Vibhakar. Mr. Wasim Akbar Baba, he is not okay. Dr. Ishrat Jahan. I would request Sheetal ma'am to felicitate Dr. Ishan. Thank you, Manji, sir. You have been doing it. I am not taking your name. Yeah. Um, I would uh, request Manjeet sir and Sheetal ma'am to felicitate Dr. Gaurika Chov. I would again request Manjeet sir and Sheetal ma'am to felicitate Monica Goswami. <laughs> Manjeet sir and Sheetal ma'am, please felicitate Dr. Apeksha. May I now request uh, Sir and Sheetal Ma'am to please felicitate uh, Dr. Paluma I would also request I would also request Dr. Mansi Sinha to present Manjeet sir and Sheetal ma'am with her newly published book. Okay, sir. Okay. This is not the scripting of a book. Where I request my gifts to finally launch it for the weekend. This will be the only thing that happens. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the only thing of our project is that we have started in 10 weeks. And it's by Mansi Sina and Vishwara Rai Poo. And the contemporary is coming. Wonderful. Big round of applause for you. On a few please settle down. Now I would like to request Dr. Mansi to present the closing remarks.
Thank you, everyone, for your overwhelming participation. On behalf of the organizing team, I extend a warm welcome to the distinguished guest, uh, His Excellency Manjeet Singh Puri, respected uh, Dr. Sheetal Sharma, my supervisor and my mentor for my life. Uh, I would also like to um, extend my gratitude to Aradhana Ma'am. She's not here, but she has been very kind in extending uh, support and guidance in accomplishing this event. Uh, I'd also like to thank my dear colleagues and my students who have been all there uh, to make this event a great success. I wish to express my gratitude on behalf of the whole organizing team for the exuberating spirit all of you have shown for the last two weeks to make this orientation program a great success. I'm really humbled and honored to have received such great response from the student community on the, of this university and from other universities as well. We have got around 300 uh, participants from across India online who are joining online for this course. This initiative would not have been possible without immense support and massive deliberations uh, by all of you, by particularly organizing team. Uh, as our uh, so talking about uh, Dr. Sheetal Sharma, she has been the pioneering uh, source uh, in collaboration, uh, you know, in this collaboration, uh, where uh, her, her project, John Money Project, um, uh, Jawaharlal University, she has been awarded many projects. So through one of her projects, we've been able to collaborate with, um, you know, John Money. Uh, 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 for, from Jawaharlal University. So thank you ma'am for uh, all your support, guidance and mentoring uh, for uh, you know, whatever you have done to uh, for, our, for our events. Uh, so now talking about the uh, series of lectures that we have, uh, we have attended for the last two weeks, uh, as we have witnessed uh, all our honorable guests, um, who have spelled out uh, uh, the re essential aspects of European Union, the, the speculations about how India is now being placed in the global arena, uh, what new uh, future it beholds, what we have just uh, heard from uh, Sir Manjeev Sir, all that new uh, rising and leading India that we hope to become in coming years. So uh, my new addition uh, definitely is going to add value to that. And I hope our uh, students community will get benefited from this book. So I recommend you please buy that book and uh, give me reviews on that. Um, in this two week orientation program, we have attended best of lectures and uh, organizing sessions while we have delegates from European Commission to India, um, a very, uh, you know, uh, respected um, His Excellency Sekou Normi, uh, he's the Deputy Head of European Commission to India. We had uh, His Excellency Adam Borakowski, Polish Ambassador uh, of Poland to India. We also have uh, got, uh, you know, a best of um, experts and academicians uh, in the international relations, namely Professor Srikant Pondapalli from uh, JNU who had given us extensive analysis of how you China strategic relations from the contemporary, uh, for, from the contemporary discourse in international politics. We had former ambassador Jitendranath Mishra uh, gave, uh, giving us uh, different aspects of uh, the paradox of UK-India relations. Uh, uh, we had uh, witnessed imminent and multiple uh, challenges like refugee crisis and pertinent issues the EU is uh, facing in contemporary time through the excellent presentation by Dr. Shita Sharma. We also had appealing sessions from Professor Sriram Jolia from OP General uh, School uh, Global University, Professor Gurshan Sastava from JNU, uh, Professor Harsh V. Pant from King's College London, who have shared their extensive knowledge in international relations and particularly uh, they have helped us understanding a lot of aspects pertaining to how the European Union has constructed, has been able to construct itself over the decades to become from, 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 from uh, economic 
um, you know, a, a entity to become a political entity. So we have been through a, an extensive lecture series for the last two weeks. We also had some wonderful sessions delivered by our own dynamic faculty, namely Dr. Pratush Bihakar, Dr. Paloma Sen, Wasim Akbar Baba, Monica Goswami, and me a little. Okay, so I'm moved by the amount of participation shown by the students for all the lectures evenly, and they have been present here throughout the two weeks, and I'm really grateful for trusting and believing in us. As we come closer to the ending of this two weeks orientation program, I'm all emotional about everything. The bonding that we, uh, the organizers, have been able to form with students and participants, the unwavering support that volunteers have shown responding to the early hours wake up calls to help us in managing our day to day affairs for this event. It is never enough to thank you uh, for what all you have done. Um, I'm really, really grateful to all of you for having our back and making this event successful. I'm also immensely grateful to uh, the organizing team. Dr. Paruma Sen, Dr. Pratish Vibhakar, Wasim Akbar Baba, Monica Goswami, Dr. Isha Jaha, Apiksha Singh, Dr. Gonika Chuk, for all your firm and steady support. I'm truly honored and humbled. Thank you so much. Um, I wish to work with you all, people in future. Let us bring light, hope, music, and knowledge more to us and everyone. With those uh, words, I hereby announce the closure of the ceremony. Uh, we wish to meet soon with yet another session, but to the, maybe Ashikal Naim would again allow us to, uh, you know, uh, venture into another wonderful session for our learning and all. Uh, so uh, I'm really uh, thankful. I'm short of speed, uh, short of words here. And uh, so from uh, me, I'm, I'm totally uh, taking away. Thank you so much. I am very open and I come in eight years to next three months. Thank you, Dan. Please come on for the next.